Hello, my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Welcome to my channel. I just received a huge design team package from ASC Craft Supplies, and I can't wait to share it with you. All of the items that you see in this video are available at ASC Craft Supplies. You can reach them on the web or on their Etsy store. Also, don't forget to use my coupon code ROBIN10, that's all in capital letters, to receive a 10% discount off of non-sale items. Let's get started with our review. The first collection that I will be reviewing is by Chow Bella called Farm House Garden. In the collection, there's the 8x8, there's the A4 creative pad, the 12 by 12 paper pad, and then the 12 by 12 patterns. This is the 12 by 12 paper pad, and I think it is perfect for summer. I love these beautiful sunflowers and the cute little puppies. In the 12 by 12 pad, you receive 12 double-sided papers. The wonderful thing about the Chow Bella papers is that you can use every inch of this paper pad. This is the cover. You have a large design here, and then four cut aparts here. This is a reverse side. You have this distressed wall in the back and then four cut aparts on the bottom. On the next page, we have this wonderful signature page. Again, we have this adorable little puppy front and center. I love the wood grain on the top and bottom. And of course, these beautiful sunflowers. You can easily fussy cut these. On the back, you have a neutral wood grain pattern. This is the next page and you have a very dramatic black background with text printed in the back, these beautiful sunflowers and butterflies. I think this sheet would be perfect for fall. On the back you have this muted green pattern and you have these little tiny hearts. They look like polka dots but they're actually little hearts. Next we have this beautiful paper. You've got lined paper in the background and again these beautiful sunflowers flanking the page and these four little puppy dogs. On the back, you have this muted orange with beautiful sunflower prints all over. Next, you have this fun distressed page. You've got this distressed wall background, more sunflowers on the top, this fun wooden fence, which is flanked by these beautiful sunflower bouquets, and of course, another cute puppy dog. On the back, you have this distressed brown paper. On the next page, you have these beautiful sunflowers. I love this little puppy dog eating the basket. And then you have three large cut aparts, as well as more sunflowers on the bottom. On the back, you have this muted green with a white vine print. Next, you have this all over print. You have this sleeping dog and these cute little puppies with baskets of sunflowers. Isn't that fun? On the back, you have a basket weave print. The next page is filled with these fun borders. You've got a border here with butterflies and sunflowers. You've got another one here with these cute little rain boots and kittens. This is really fun to simply cut apart and you can use a strip on any of your projects. Next, we have this distressed brown print. On this page, we have more of these gorgeous sunflowers and this cute little puppy dog holding a sunflower and this fun door here in green that goes into a house. On the back, we have this light tan distressed page. On the next page, you have more of these beautiful sunflowers. You have this large kitty down here in the corner playing with a yarn ball. And on the left, you've got a yarn basket with balls of yarn and thread and this cute little dresser. On the next page, you have this brown diamond print and you have these cute little paw prints all over the page. On the next page, we have this white wood paneling with a muted print in the background. We have this little sentiment here that says farmer market. Again, you have this beautiful little kitty playing with the butterflies and there are those little rain boots filled with sunflowers. On the back, you have a muted green. This time you have polka dots instead of the little hearts. On the last page, you have these cut aparts here. And on the right side, you have what appears to be inside a kitchen with this cute little window. You have the two little kitties. There's a little cherry pie and this kitty is getting into the blackberry jam. On the back page, you have this fun 
orange and cream gingham print and I like this light muted green outline. Next we have the Patterns and Solid also in 12 by 12. There are eight double-sided sheets in this collection. Again you have this beautiful front cover. You've got a large area here that you can use in crafting as well as these two pieces and then several smaller cut aparts on the bottom. On the back you have this distressed crackled background and this bucket filled with sunflowers. You also receive alphabet letters that you can use in your crafting. Next we have these four large cut aparts. These measure five and a half by five and a half inches and they feature these adorable little puppies and this cute sleeping puppy here. Now on the backs so you can include journaling or you can include a photo. Next we have this black background with sunflowers all over. Next we have another page with wonderful borders. You have sunflowers and then you have sentiments that say flowers and seeds, garden tools and supplies, the old mill. Next you have this large wreath of sunflowers. I think this would be perfect in a large frame. It is so beautiful and bright. On the back you have this distressed green crackled background. Next you have several different sizes of cut aparts. Look at these little puppies. Oh, they are so darling. On the back you have this muted cream and tan stripe. Next you have these fun cut aparts. You have the kitties, the puppies, the little rain boats, and of course these beautiful sunflower bouquets. These are really easy to fussy cut. On the back you have this muted black and gray stripe. Next we have this beautiful page that has this distressed background and these beautiful large bouquets of sunflowers. On the back you have this muted yellow with white vines. The next page we have distressed wood and on the back you have this text printed background with these beautiful bouquets of sunflowers. Next we have the A4 creative pad. There are nine double-sided sheets and as in the previous pads that I showed you, you can use all of these elements on the cover. On the back, we have this distressed wall flanked with sunflowers, and you have cut aparts on the bottom. We have more fun cut aparts on this page. On the back, we have this distressed black background with the bouquets of sunflowers. Next, we have more tags in all different sizes. On the back, we have this distressed white wood paneling. On this page you have more fun cut aparts. I love this clock in the background in the shape of a sunflower. You have these oval tags and circles as well. On the back of this page you have the brown crackled distressed pattern. Next we have more fun cut aparts and areas for journaling. On the back you have this distressed pattern. We have four large cut aparts on this page and you have this muted yellow with the white vines. On this page you have really fun shaped tag. I love the curves in these designs. Here it says life is better in the garden. We've got this one here. It says garden herbs and veggies. And of course these cute little tags. On the back you have this distressed text print with bundles of sunflowers. On this page you have a variety of different tags, journaling areas. On this page you have distressed text background. This time you have the little puppies with the baskets of sunflowers. And on this last page you have a distressed wood print and on the back you have more fun cut aparts. Next we have the 8x8 paper pad. These have the same exact designs as the 12x12 paper pad, however they are on a much smaller scale. I'm going to do a quick flip through of these images. This is a final look of the adorable Chow Bella Farmhouse Paper Collection. The next collection that I'm going to review is this beautiful winter collection by Chow Bella. It's called Cozy Moments. We have the 8x8, the A4 Creative Pad, the 12x12 12 12 Paper Pad, and the 12x12 12 12 Patterns and Solids. 
this is a beautiful winter themed paper collection. In fact, I loved it so much that I purchased two sets. Not only can you use it for winter themed projects, but also because of the adorable fuzzy little animals, you can use it as a baby album. This is a front cover. You have these beautiful cut aparts that you can use. So every piece of this collection is usable. In the 12 by 12 pad, you receive 12 double sided sheets of paper. On the back, you have this distressed background with this gorgeous lantern on the left side. And then you have these cut aparts on the bottom. Here it says Cottontail Company. Next, you have this beautiful wintry colors of grays and muted tans and browns. You have the adorable little bunny here with the cotton sticking out from the side. You've got Peter Cottontail up here on the top and then down here. I love the sentiments, when snow falls, nature listens. This is such a beautiful and serene paper. On the back, we have this distressed gray background, and there are outlines of cotton on the back. The next page is filled with stalks of cotton all over. We have this distressed wood grain. On the next page, we have these gorgeous cut apart pieces in this beautiful gray, tans, and blues. We have a little wolf here. We have the beautiful deer. We have the mama and the little baby deer. And of course, this adorable rabbit. And this is the background. I love these patterns. On the next page, we have this blustery winter scene. You have a fox here and a fox here. I love the collage on this paper. On the next print, we have this distressed brown linen print. On the next page, you have this distressed brown and it's filled with images of watering cans filled with cotton. On the next page, you have this fun earthy print with pine cones and leaves. Here we have nice cut aparts with beautiful sayings. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Why souls speak loudly in silence. When snow falls, nature listens. And this one down here says, kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. On the back, you have this gray and black plaid. We have another beautiful winter scene. We've got this bird perched upon leaves and cotton stalks. And then we have more of the cotton and the leaves and pine cones. Here it says, the snow is sparkling like a million little suns. On the back, we have this distressed black with script writing. Here we have a distressed brown background with stalks of cotton. On the next page, we have this distressed tan and you have images of snowflakes and of course the stalks of cotton on the top and the bottom. On the next page, we have these adorable little bunnies and gray acorns and of course these stalks of cotton. On the next page, we have this brown muted page with snowflakes all over. On this page, we have fun cut apart pieces. We've got our sleigh, feathers, we have our little lanterns, and lots of cotton pieces. On the back, we have this muted gray page, and it has wreaths of cotton. Next, we have this distressed light gray page with snowflakes. And on the back, we have this beautiful page. We have the little fawn, the mama, and the baby deer and the beautiful snowflakes. Next, we have our 12 by 12 patterns and there are eight double-sided sheets. Again, you have areas on the front cover that you can use in your crafting. On the back here, we have this distressed gray with brown on the top and this adorable little bunny. And we also have alphabet cut aparts here. On the next page, you have this collage. You've got these little bunnies, lanterns, birds, deer. On the back, you have a distressed brown and you have these wreaths of cotton and cute little hearts in the center. On the next page, we have these beautiful lanterns with stalks of cotton and acorns. On this page, we have stalks of cotton. On the next page, we have this muted tan and brown print with these different clocks all over. On this page, we have a distressed brick pattern. On the next page, we have these four large five and a half by five and a half cut aparts. On the back, you have a brown muted background with beautiful snowflakes. On this page, you have a fun wintry scene with the trees in the background, the fox and baby deer and these little sleighs. On the back, you have this brown plaid pattern. 
On this page, you have fun cut aparts and all different shapes. Here we have a distressed wood grain pattern. On this pattern, we have a brown background with stalks of cotton. And on the next page, we have this beautiful distressed page with the clock in the center, which is woven with these beautiful stalks of cotton and leaves and pine cones and this little bird here. Next, we have our A4 creative pad. There are nine double-sided papers. Again, each of the elements on the covers can be used. In the back, we have this distressed brick with a lantern and more cut-aparts on the back. You have these fun cut-aparts. We've got the little fox, the little doe, and these cute little bunny rabbits. On this page, we have these fun clocks. Next, we have more fun cut-aparts. We have circles down here, a large circle here, and these unique shaped tags. We have cotton on this page. More fun cut-aparts. On the back page, we have a distressed wood grain in gray. More fun cut-aparts. On the back, we have this black muted page with script writing. We have ephemera cut-aparts and wonderful sentiments. On the back, we have this gray and black plaid. More fun cut-aparts and tags. We have adorable little bunnies with acorns and cotton. More cut-aparts. On the back, we have this brown muted page with snowflakes. And the last page, we have this gray plaid. And on the back, more fun cut-aparts. Last but not least, we have the 8x8 pad. These have the same exact designs as the 12x12 pad, so I'm just going to do a quick flick through. This is a final look at the beautiful winter collection by Chow Bella called Cozy Moments. The next collection is this beautiful watercolor inspired paper collection by Chow Bella called My Tiny World. I have the 12 by 12 paper pad and the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. This collection is so adorable and I purchased it because I need to create a few baby mini albums and other gift items for showers. On the cover, we have these beautiful large cut-aparts that we can use. These tiny little cut-aparts here on the bottom. On the back here, we have this cute little leaf pattern and these large cut-aparts here. Next, we have this rainbow page with these adorable little hot air balloons and the animals. Now, you can fussy cut each of these images. I love the little bubbles in the background and this rainbow stripe. On the next page, you have this muted pink and orange pattern with these little circles. On the next page, we have these beautiful stars all over the place, and we have this adorable little pony and this cute little carousel here on the bottom. Again, this is a large piece that you can fussy cut. On the next page, we have this soft floral pattern. On the next page, we have these 12 cut apart. Now this will be perfect for doing a first year baby mini album. On the next page, we have this beautiful sky blue pattern. This page is so adorable. I can see this in a shadow box. You could actually include the child's photo right here. I love the little fox and the bunny. On the next page, we have this beautiful plaid pattern. We have more flowers on this page. And we have polka dots on this page. This is another adorable page. I love the little choo-choo train with the bunny and the mouse and a little bear. And we have this orange pattern paper. On the next page, we have large areas for cut aparts, or you can make this one large scrapbook page. You can include a photo right here. On the next page, we have this lavender pattern with leaves. Here we have a large rainbow with a little bunny and the balloons and a little fox. On the next page we have these fun pastel stripes. This page we have an all over print of a little lamb and fox and bunnies. We have an all over print here of little splotches and blue and green and pinks and yellows. This page we have the adorable little elephant with the balloons and a little owl. We have a muted blue and yellow stripe. We have an all-over pattern here in leaves and blue and green. 
And last but not least, we have this adorable little hot air balloon with the fox and bunny floating over this town. I love the houses and the patchwork designs. Next, we have the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. I love these little hot air balloons. Each of these elements can be fussy cut. Here we have the little fox and the balloon floating in the sky and these little alphabets. You have this cute little community with the fox riding on his bicycle. On the back we have a paper airplane with clouds. Next we have fun cut aparts and cute little tags here. On this page you have fun balloons in all different shapes and colors. We have more fun cut aparts here and little tags. On the back we have the carousel ponies in all different colors. Here we have an all over page with these adorable little hot air balloons. On the back we have a rainbow stripe. Next we have an all over print here with presents and balloons and cupcakes. We have a fun diamond print here with yellow and pink. On this page we have all over floral patterns and lavenders and mauves and yellows and tans. Here we have a light tan leaf pattern. And last but not least we have this all over muted distress screen pattern. And on the back, we have more fun characters. It says, let the adventure begin, twinkle, twinkle, little star. These little bunny rabbits and foxes hanging on these balloons. Here's a final look at the beautiful watercolor inspired paper collection by Chow Bella called My Tiny World. Last but not least are these interactive folios by Photoplay. These are pre-made mini albums. They include all the individual pages and even the magnets. All you have to do is glue the pages together and add your cardstock. Please pardon the glare. I'm not going to take them out of the package because each of them have several individual sheets. The first folio is folio three. This makes a four and a half by eight and a half interactive album. So this is perfect as a slimline mini album. Folio 4 makes a 6.5 by 6.5 mini album. And Folio 5 makes a 7 by 5.5 interactive mini album. Now I will be doing tutorials that show you how to assemble each of these and also giving you the measurements for the cardstock. This concludes my review of my ASC Craft Supplies design team call. You can reach them on the web or their Etsy store. Also, please feel free to use my coupon Robin 10, that's all in capital letters, to receive a 10% discount off of these items or any items in the store that are not on sale. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting. Thank you.